we always talked about this, so we're just going to continue on and talk about it yet again, which is Nintendo. It does the Power Rangers good. <laughs> Nintendo, wait, oops, I meant to say Nickelodeon. It does the Power Rangers good. <laughs> True or false? <clears throat> All right, so I talked to a few people, and some of them actually were like, we need Power Rangers out of Nickelodeon. Sadly, I got to basically act like Bruce Banner's dad in the original Hulk movie. Go where? Go where? That's the messed up part, is there's no place for them to go. Sadly, when it comes to Fox, they have no interest. Oh, yeah. And plus, it's owned by Disney now. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, Fox has no interest of bringing back Fox kids. They had no interest at all. Because if they did, then Jaime Sabans would have just been like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I won't be stupid this time. Please take me back. We need you. I need you. That didn't happen. He decided to create Vortex, and I'm pretty sure that was the same idea, same scenario. <clears throat> Where he created Vortex, and hopefully when the whole entire um, contract was up with Nickelodeon, he would move Power Rangers to there, and that will start the thing. The only messed up part is that he put stupid, incompetent people in Vortex. So the people who were in Toon's Eye and <clears throat> CW4 Kids and etc etc he put them back into control which is like and you wonder why you just went down in flames you wonder why <laughs> it's like yeah so if he would have gotten the right people and he wasn't cheap chances are it would still be here today maybe maybe <clears throat> i mean kids click was doing good too the only messed up part is that the owners of kids click they were falling under as well so it wasn't even about the whole thing of oh the commercialism oh you're poisoning the children it wasn't even about that it was something else <clears throat> so it kind of sucks that you don't really have any place for them to go today well if hasbro kept hub going the only messed up part is we have to pay more money to see power rangers is that messed to freak up or what? It's like, yes, we have to pay more money to see Power Rangers the previous seasons because, well, Nicktoons has it and various other Nick channels have them. So it's like, yeah, this kind of sucks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can't really get them unless it's on Netflix. And it's like, oh, don't say that. They're gone from Netflix, too. <laughs> yeah, for the time being, I'm pretty sure somewhere they'll pop up. <clears throat> but here's my thought. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Here's my thought. I'm okay with them being on Nickelodeon, but Nickelodeon needs to learn some RESPCD. Find out what it means, PCD, because it's like they're not treating Power Rangers with much respect. They're getting better, but they didn't treat Power Rangers with a lot of respect. And to this day, they're kind of still not doing that. And it's been like, what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Has it been a decade now? I think it's close to being a decade that Power Rangers has been on Nickelodeon and they still don't understand that one full year would be a great idea versus we cut it in two days. Yeah, we cut it in two years. Isn't that smart and awesome? No, that's completely stupid. And you can see even Bandai America when they were still doing it and they got to the point of being like, how the fuck were we supposed to expand two freaking two years of the toy line? Two years. It's like, how do we supposed to do it? It's supposed to only expand for one year. This is some bullshit. And that's when they came up with the repaints and all that crap. And it's like, come on, say it with me, guys. You just need one year for all of it to go out. One freaking year. That's all you need. Two years is just too much. Not to mention, they were crazy enough to even still cut out Omega Zord, even though they needed some more, they needed some more stuff, and yet they were able to still cut out Omega Zord, and they didn't even cash in on another Omega Zord. So it's like, <laughs> and then just steal. Good God, it's just unbelievable what's going on with that one. <clears throat> so Beast Morphers, it since the virus happened we can't really truly say that oh yeah they failed us horribly they failed us very very badly and it's like 
they had two years and they skipped out a Megazord. They skipped out on a Megazord that was on the TV show, just like Ninja Steel did it. And they had another one they could have done if they wanted to, but they didn't. Personally, I don't care about the Froggy Zord, so <laughs> it's like I don't care about the Froggy Zord, so <laughs> but still it's like, yeah, but they're leaving money on the damn table. They're leaving money on the table, and it's like, how in the world are you able to leave money on the table like this, guys? How in the world are you able to do this? So we see what happens with Dino Fury, but still it's like <laughs> they're gonna have to expand it for two years. I don't think they'll be able to do that. <laughs> it's like, yes, I don't think they'll be able to do that. Yes, you can create new toys and stuff like that bow and the sword. But in all, it's like, just make it one year already. It's like, Nickelodeon, are you still stupid enough to actually be like, oh, two years is a great idea. It's a smart idea. And it's like, other countries just straight up say, fuck you. We're just going to do it. <laughs> They're like, yeah, fuck you. We're done. Just just air it all in one year. Why are you guys being stupid? It's like, really? Are you trying to say the Americans are completely stupid and dumbass? <laughs> is that what's going on? Is that the Americans are completely stupid and dumbass? And we don't actually think it's a great idea to actually put a show that's supposed to last a year. Let it last a year, not two years. Let it last a year. And yet we're still stupid enough to do this. Well, technically Nickelodeon is still stupid enough to keep on doing it. Again, I really hope when it comes to the agreement, because, well, Hasbro is giving Transformers to Nickelodeon. There has to be talks of where it's like, here's one property, but we should also talk about the other property since you're getting this show too. It's like, yeah, because they could have easily just been like, oh, Cartoon Network, you in? Yeah, sure. I mean, we had dibs on Transformers in the first damn place. So yeah, we got dibs on that. <laughs> yeah, instead they're like, no, no, Nickelodeon, here you go, man. Here you go. Yeah, here you go, but here's a catch. It's like, yeah, that's how you do. Here's the show, but here's a catch. That's all you have to do. That's all you got to do. I really hope that's how it played out and not just a simple, stupid, dumb move of being like, oh, well, here you go, guys. And I hope we can actually work together. <laughs> and this is awesome. It's like, yeah, it's like, dude, you can't just have one other show you're now giving them and you're not even going to talk about the show they have already. It's like it's getting very stupid where it's like, no, no, there had to be deals to be made for them to get Transformers. I'm just saying there has to be deals to be made. So my personal opinion is that I think it's fine for Nickelodeon for now. I'll be fine for Nickelodeon to stay. And thank goodness they moved it from noon. It's like, good Lord, that 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 freaking was punishment. That was horrible punishment. Put it at eight o'clock. It's like, oh, it's about time. Stop freaking thinking. Oh, yeah. Disney knows what's best because that's what you did. Disney knows what's best. And it's like, no, they don't. If Disney knew it was best, they would still have Power Rangers to this day and give a middle finger to freaking um, Nickelodeon saying, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I mean, they took Miraculous from your ass. I mean, you had Miraculous. You had it. And then you're like, oh, man, I think it's not for us. I mean, we gave it a try, but I think uh, it's not for us. And then eventually, within a few years, Disney took it and Disney is running for it and Disney actually got two specials and look at your sorry ass. Well, we have Ninja Turtles. Yeah, you didn't do good, did you? You had full two previous Ninja Tur this Ninja Turtle series, both of them. But the second one you had straight up full responsibility for it and you had to cancel it within 2 years. That's got to hurt. <laughs> it's like, yeah, seriously, it's like, my gosh, then if you can't treat the turtles that you own with respect, then how the frick are you not able to treat Power Rangers with respect? Even though it's like, yeah, it makes sense, but it's like, damn. It's like, what you need to do is treat the turtles with a damn respect and Power Rangers should get more respect too. Don't just have it on Saturdays and Sundays. Put it on weekdays. Personal, I was like, personally, looking right now, it's like Monday through Friday, 4 to 5 p.m., put Power Rangers on. I would say get Beast Morphers, put Beast Morphers on, get Dino Fury, which you can kind of do Dino Fury sometimes. I'm just saying in and out, you know, because it's like if you do it in and out, so it won't be like repetitive because you only have eight episodes. So I was like, yeah, so Dino Fury can do it for like one month. And then you have lots of freaking Ranger series. It's like, why don't you put previous Ranger series on too? So it's like just half a power hour. Just half that freaking superhero time, you know, give them a piece of that. 
like, oh, but it's SpongeBob. It's like, dude, SpongeBob can't find anywhere. Even though I'm glad to know that SpongeBob got the same freaking stick bull crap that Simpsons did. He's like, yeah, I don't get to watch the Simpsons all episodes in my fingertips anymore because Disney Plus. Kids don't get to see SpongeBob because of Netflix. It's like, you guys got Netflix, go watch it. You guys got Paramount Plus, go watch it. You don't really have to watch it on Nickelodeon. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Nickelodeon doesn't have to always have SpongeBob 24 7, even though it's their horror. But it's like, still though, can you please just, it's like, you did it already with the whole thing. And now you're actually engulfed in, but like, yo, oh, and now SpongeBob is basically took over Saturdays. And well, Sundays, luckily, they sometimes allow Power Rangers to be there, I think for the most part, but other times they allow SpongeBob to engulf that too. But I'm just saying, this is what I really wish is that number one, it's once a year. You just allow Power Rangers to be done within one year, like it should be. Two, allow it to be more promotion, or at least allow the show actually be on Monday through Friday on four to five o'clock. You don't have to do modern seasons, but it's like, it's a good idea. It's like, yeah, you can circle through them. It's like, if you circle through them, it's going to be perfectly fine. I mean, like, let's see. So I would say. I think Beast Morphers had like 40, 44 episodes and then you have five days a week. So that means that it can span for like two months. Yeah, you can technically span it for two months. So like two months, there's one. Or you can actually span it 16 months if you wish. Well, sorry, 16. I mean, eight weeks. I meant to say eight weeks, like within eight weeks. So that means two months. So two months and then you can actually make it four months if you actually do two seasons. It's like, come on, you have Power Rangers. You actually are able to use them. Why not do the benefit of allowing the Power Rangers to be on Nickelodeon? Allow it to be known instead of this crap of where it's like, you guys got to remember Power Rangers is on Saturday at eight. But for right now, it's on hiatus for some dumbass reason, a.k.a. we're stupid. I mean, look what's going on with Superman and Lois. This is the best one to actually talk about. Whereas like Super Brain and Lois came on at Tuesday at 9 p.m. And then they had to do a hiatus because of issues of the virus. I'm like, you're sorry asses, but still it's like, but people knew. And then now since it's dispersed, they make sure that and the funny part is like they're doing their job to make sure that they know. Yeah, May 18th, May 18th, May 18th, May 18th. Same thing that you should have been doing from the very get go. <laughs> That's what you should have been doing, you know, like ever so often that's what you should have been doing it's like even with the turtles you didn't even do that yeah that's kind of messed up it's like even the turtles when you owned them too it's like you're on them right now and yet you didn't really do much on saying that oh the next episode <laughs> but it's like yeah and they can notice that people are dropping off of superman and lois with the hopes of maybe hopefully it's not the only show they're watching because if it's the only show they're watching then they have to expand their freaking reach and make sure that everyone knows that Superman and Lois will return on May 18th. What you guys do with Power Rangers? What you do? What you do? What you do? What you do? Nothing. <laughs> you allow Power Rangers to just cut off with their eight freaking episodes and then hope that they will return in late August. Which you do push, but it's like you need to do what freaking CW is doing. You need to make sure that you actually make sure people know that Power Rangers still exist, which they do. They do, but they're not doing as much as they could. <clears throat> Heck, you could even just make it Fridays at, yeah, you can even just make it Fridays, like Fridays from 4 to 5 p.m. I'm just saying to have a little bit more Power Rangers in their freaking schedule would be something nice. And for those who actually don't really care about Power Rangers or didn't give them a chance because Power Rangers are on at eight o'clock in the damn morning, in the morning, you think kids actually would do that? Sometimes they do. Many do. But I'm just saying for new people, they actually like to sleep in. And then when SpongeBob's on, SpongeBob's on. And it's like you really need to actually have people maybe dive into it, you know, allow it to just like how SpongeBob is like, oh, well, what do you what a quinky dink? SpongeBob is on now. Maybe you should watch it. You should do the same exact crap. Oh, my goodness. Power Rangers is on. Mm, well, it's on. So you want to change the channel or you're going to give it a chance. That's how it should really work. Something like that. But anyways, 
I personally think that there's really no way to do anything to actually make Power Rangers be awesome. You know, there's no place for them to really truly go from what I can tell. And even if we do have a place for them, you might have to pay more money for it. And it's like Power Rangers never had to pay more money. Heck, we have to pay more money now because it's just on cable. But thank goodness that YouTube has it. And it's like, hmm, YouTube is doing new episodes, kind of. So it's like, yeah, so that's kind of good. But it's like, if you really, truly want people to tune in, then you should do your best to make sure that there's more places for them to watch it instead of just remember it's on Saturday and Sunday at 8 a.m.